Hi guys. Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to make these large letters embroider them on your Brother SE425 embroidery machine. Oh, it looks like it's stuck there in my video then. Let's see if I can back it up. how to embroider large letters like these on your brother SE425 embroidery machine. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to stop this and I'm going to go and I'm going to open my PowerPoint. So if you um, don't have PowerPoint, it comes with uh, Microsoft Office. So what first thing I'm going to do is I opened up a blank presentation and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the name Luke because I'm making a sweater for my friend's dog. So I'm going to type in Luke on my PowerPoint and I'm going to make this bigger just so you guys can see what's going on here. Let's see. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to take the kerning, which is right here, and I make it really tight, just so that the letters are, are closer together. Okay, so for this presentation, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use um, uh, this font right here. It's called Bernard MT Condensed. So I'm going to change it to that font, and I'm going to now take this word and I'm going to right click on the outside border and I'm going to copy it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it as a, as a picture file right here. So what I did was I first I right click here, copy, right click here, and I paste it as a photo. I'm going to get this one out of the way. And I'm going to get this out of the way too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it. So I'm going to go up here to my picture tools and I'm going to go ahead and crop right around the edges of this word. I don't know if you can see this very clearly because I only have some limited space to record the screen on. Okay, so I'm cropping it. And again, the crop is right here. So I cropped it. So now the whole image is right there because before all that white was included in the image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it one more time and I'm going to paste it one more time. I just do that just to be safe. And if I want the letters to be as big as you saw at the beginning of the video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this again and I'm going to select by pushing the shift key both of the loops. Then I'm going to let go of the shift key and I'm going to make these a little bit bigger like this. And I'm going to also rotate them sideways. Okay, so now I have got two loops. And if I want the letters to be, like I said, as big as what at the at the beginning of the video, you saw a video of um, the embroidery machine working. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out these two letters and these two letters together because I'm going to, what I'm going to do is they're going to be separate files. So I'm going to go back, back up to my picture tools. I'm going to crop this one to be just the L and the U. And this one to be just the K and the E. Okay, so now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go to my Sew Art software and if you're not familiar with the Sew Art software, um, you can bot purchase it online, I think it's like $75, let me make this screen to you guys can see it. Okay, so now I'm going to start 
start a new file in my SOAR, SOAR blank canvas. I'm going to edit, I'm going to paste, and I'm going to need to crop this one more time, so I'm going to go to the crop in my SOAR. I'm going to crop it down so that way there's, that white area is not there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do in SOAR, if I have just a two-color um, embroidery that I'm going to do, which is actually only one color because the white doesn't count, but you have to put it down as two. I'm going to reduce the colors to two. And I'm going to go right here to this button right here. I'm going to resize the image. And I know that my area that I have to embroider in is four inches by four inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the width of this and make it be four inches. I'm sorry, I'm going to make it be 3.90 inches, not four, just to make sure it's going to fit. So I did that, and then I'm going to go back up to my resize, and it looks like they're both 3.90, which is perfect. It's exactly what I want it to be, because it's going to fit in my embroidery. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here to Tools, and I'm going to convert this to stitches. So it's down here is the option right here. And it, it gives me a little long. So I'm going to do these in order. I'm going to go this one first. And I'm going to do this one second. So now they're both stitched out. They're, they're now a dig digitalized file. So it's asking me do I want to convert the image to stitches. And I'm going to click yes. And do I want to save the embroidery file? I'm going to click yes. So now I'm going to save it as 1234LU. Okay. I'm going to save it here. Then it's going to ask me to save it again as the PES file because I'll show you in a minute what files you need to select to actually transmit transfer over to your machine. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And it's, I just did the embroidery right there. Okay, it was successfully saved. Now, once I've done this, I want to go to my file folder on my computer. Right here. And I want to find the file that I just saved. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. LU right here. Okay, these are the files right here. So it saves four files, but the only two files that you need to transfer over is this file right here and the PES file. So I'm going to select those two. I'm going to right click and I'm going to make sure that my sewing machine or my embroidery machine is plugged into my computer with a printer cable. And I'm going to right click and I'm gonna oops and I'm going to hold on. That worked oh. I'm going to right click. Okay. And then there. And I'm gonna to send to. And then you need to pick the drive in which your USB is plugged into your embroidery machine. Ask it again. And you click on it. Oops, I don't know what happened there, but okay. So let's start that over. I'll go here, here, here. Let's use one at a time, maybe. Send this one. And say, send this one over right here. Why is my computer not being very cooperative? Okay, so now my machine should have the file LU in its database. So and it does a transfer. So that's how you transfer the files and as 
how you make the files with text in them. You actually change it over to a picture file so that the embroidery machine actually thinks it's a picture that it's, that it's um, embroidered. So and then you go ahead and you embroider your file from your machine. Thank you for watching and see you next time.